Greeting gamers, welcome back to Gamer Guide channel. I am Roland in Robocraft and also Gamer Guide. And today we're looking at my Roland account, looking at a brand new robot that I'm putting out and something to counter all the helicopters and other aircraft that have been uh, pretty prominent after some of the changes to the game. So I wanted to build something that was tough and had a lot of firepower. So this is my uh, strongest offensive vehicle I think I've ever created because it uses three mega SMGs and three uh, regular SMGs in tier 10. And basically if you break this down as uh, each of these mega SMGs count as two regular ones, it's like having nine SMGs that fire the tier 10 ones that fire all at the same time. So. Um, the other one, like the Thunderbot I have with the electroplates, is only uh, equal to eight, and this one's nine, so it's a little bit more powerful. It's also um, quite a bit more tough, too. Um, I went with a prison plate design on this and something with a uh, bottom heavy uh, feature so it naturally would hover the right way without having a lot of flipping issues. Went with a little bit of redundancy. As you see, I have six hovers on it, and that uh, serves it really well. It goes, uh, moves very fast. Um, I wanted it to combat particularly air vehicles, so I built it um, kind of in a, a, vertical, a strong vertical and uh, kind of narrow horizontal fashion. And also I knew I had to do this too because the way that the, uh, how much of the CPU was taken up by the uh, Mega SMGs, I knew I had to have a compact frame to have it be tough enough, basically. So uh, it worked out really well. I've had a lot of fun playing this bot, and uh, I'm going to play it again here in a second for you so you can check it out and see if you'd like to build something like this. But a little bit more on the design now, as this is a design video after all. Um, so the bottom, like I said, I did bottom heavy. This is um, all prism plating here. And on mine, I actually uh, started the seat on the second layer up. So it's just one layer of prism plating on the bottom just for splash damage protection against any plasmas, which is a good idea if you're building any vehicle. Don't put your seat on the very bottom level, right? Um, I wanted to mount the guns with these uh, arrow rods to cut weight and also make it harder to hit and the actual mount points being in a couple cubes uh, makes it harder to knock it off by hitting the frame on the outside so that's worked out really well. Um, you have to put these guns on sideways in this design uh, to even get them to mount right so I went ahead and did that I was able to fit three right on the nose and I also set this up so none of the guns clip each other. Um, the back design is also mounted on arrow rods I did this a little later as I had it down one further as far as this uh, elevation wise and back a little bit and it was clipping that front gun so I adjusted it uh, but still left the one rear thruster there on the back. The thruster is really there to help you climb walls. Uh, it does increase your top speed by the, about 10 miles an hour and gets you up to about 162 is all uh, in tier uh, 13 or overclock 13 I should say not tier. Um, so that works out really well and uh, does allow you to go up, up walls really easily and stuff too with this. So. If you need to chase someone down, uh, this is a good way to do it. So I've had a lot of luck with this thing. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about the design? I think that's predominantly it. I guess the inside here on the top, this is mostly hollow. Um, I do have the pilot seat open on the back, but it hasn't been a problem as the pilot seat doesn't transfer damage um, and the blocks around it don't actually go right to uh, the cord sitting on directly. You have to go through quite a few layers. Um, I did put a speedometer here on the inside, so we'll pop this off real quick, um, in the core. So, like I said, this is empty in here, but uh, there was a place for a speedometer, and uh, pretty much everything else is just built really smart with uh, light blocks or uh, prisms, for the most part, going across the top, uh, inners too, and uh, it worked out really well. So let's take it out for a match, and you guys let me know what you think of this one. Uh, like I said, this is probably the strongest uh, SMG I've ever made. And as far as performance, too, it really beats the Thunder Glider as it holds together a lot better under fire. It's almost like a little tank. Well, it is really. It's 430 cubes, though, so I wouldn't really classify it as a medium tank. It is definitely like a lightweight one. But being uh, so compact in the design, that holds together really well, with, especially with the uh, double layer prism. So. This is what I call the Argobot. I kind of got the idea for the name too from uh, Jason and the Argonauts. It's, uh, I guess, a piece of like Greek mythology, and there, there was a game based off it too. But I just changed it to end to a B, basically. Argobot. So this is our little hero to take out those helicopters. Anyway, let's take this guy out and uh, give it a run.
Thank you very much for checking out my ArgoBot video. Hope it gives you some inspiration to build something like it for yourself. Speaking of, uh, I'll be having two other design videos coming out at some point this week. And a brand new game, too, you guys might be interested in checking out. I'll leave it as a surprise until we get there, but uh, very cool. And if you like RoboCraft, something you'll probably be into as well. If you're new here, please subscribe. I appreciate that. And I do check out your comments below and appreciate all the likes you would give me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.